Welcome back everybody guys into this new video. I'm gonna be showing you to this tutorial how we can connect your domain, uh, your Namecheap domain inside your workspace. So whether you are just wanting to use Google Workspace or to do it for a professional custom domain, whether it's for email document sharing, calendar management, linking your Namecheap domain to Workspace can streamline your online operations. So let's get started. Why connecting your Namecheap domain to Workspace? Well, connecting your Namecheap domain to Google Workspace allows you to use Google Suite of Tools with a domain name that reflects your brand or personality identity. This is crucial for maintaining a professional experience into your digital communications. So before we start, make sure you have a domain from Namecheap and a Google Workspace account. If you don't, I'm gonna drive it through. So first of all, let's prepare your domain inside Namecheap. Now let's go directly into our Namecheap. You wanna sign in and go directly into your dashboard. Once you are in here, what you wanted to do is to find your domain and access the DNS settings. You'll be updating these settings to work with the Google Workspace. So once you are in here, uh, the process involves adding a few specific DNS records provided by Google Workspace. So setting up your domain into Google Workspace. Switch over to Google Workspace dashboard. In the setup process, uh, Google will provide you with the necessary DNS records for your domain, including MX records for the email and possible T name records for the user services. So copy all of these records as you needed to enter them into the name chip. In this case, you wanted to go into get started just in case that you don't have an actual information to type. What is the business type? Type, uh, the business name, what is the actual region, your first, your last name, your current email address, and say yes, I currently have a domain. So in this case, it's going to be the one that appears in here, techexpress.lat. So I copy it and I paste that here. Now I hit into next, I use it for my domain, and now I'm going to type my username, for example, administrator at uh, techexpress.com. So then later on, I wanted to go into I'm not a robot, do you agree and continue? And then later on, it's going to be asking you to start with the business standard plan, which is coming from $14 per month. Updating the DNS records into the name tip. Back directly into name tip, you go into the domain DNS settings. Here at the DNS record provided by Google Workspace. This usually includes settings for the MX records to direct the email traffic to Google Mail servers. So go into advanced DNS. Be meticulous with these entries to ensure your domain correctly connects with Google Workspace. This is the part where you want to verify the domain with Google Workspace. After updating the DNS records, head back to Google Workspace to complete the setup. You need to verify your domain with Google to activate your Workspace services. Go into Add New Record, and here you wanted to add the records that were provided with the Google Workspace. That would be something like a record, CNAME, host, and the value hidden to a uh, check mark, and you're actually good to go. Google will guide you through with this verification, which often involves adding a TXT record into your name to DNS setting. And that, guys, it would be actually it. You have successfully connected a Netchip domain to Google Workspace. Now you can enjoy all the benefits of Google services with a domain name that represents your brand of personal identity. If you find this story helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Express for more tech tips and guides. Have any questions or insight about connecting your domain to Google Workspace, you can share them into the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Best of luck with the Google Workspace integration. Stay tuned to TechPress for more vertical tech content. See you soon.